A special member of our community passed this week just shy of her 100th birthday, Martha McCullough, a name you may not recognize, but as a World War II veteran, she leaves a powerful legacy. As her family gathers to honor her memory, we wanted to make sure we say one more time, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. A phrase this veteran did not often hear, serving in the Coast Guard during World War II. A young Martha McCullough answered the call to serve her country by answering phones. Well, you know, I was in New York City and that was a place to be. ABC6 first met Martha traveling to our nation's capital with Honor Flight Columbus, visiting her war memorial and humble in the significance of her role. You said to me you didn't feel like you did anything, but you really played an important role in allowing women to serve in the future as well. And see, I never thought of it that way. I never thought of it that way, but I guess that's kind of true. Women like Major General Deborah Ashenhurst. But she cracked that door open. She cracked that door in a way that she speaks so humbly of. But through the decades to follow, women lamb blasted through that door that she cracked. If somebody hadn't created that little wedge, for women to serve in the military like Martha. Most of us would have never had the opportunities that we have. Opportunities like Space Force. I am the first female that's commissioning into the Space Force out of Ohio State. An entirely new military frontier with Air Force ROTC cadet Lexi Murnix ready to add to the rich history of women who serve. The women who served before me in any capacity have built the foundation. Martha's time in the Coast Guard evolved into work as a seamstress dedicating her life to her family, raising seven children with 20 grandchildren, 50 great grandchildren and six great great grandchildren. Her two sons served in Vietnam and made the honor flight journey with their mom. Hers is a legacy of service in her family and beyond. As more women answer the call to serve, they have veterans like Martha McCullough to thank for blazing a trail and leaving a path. Women like Martha gave us that important foundation that we're still building upon today. Women can be in the armed services in any capacity they want. They can be in the Space Force. They can be on the, the front edges of battle and they can do it just as well as their male counterparts. They just needed this opportunity. And Martha was the one that started that opportunity for so many of us. And we stand on her shoulders as we've all had the opportunity to succeed in the military because of people like Martha. What goes through your mind when you see so many women serving in all these different ways? I think it's a good thing. I really do. Martha McCullough was 99 years old.